Now at five, a motorcyclist fighting for his life after a hit and run on Milwaukee's south side. And it's yet another example of the irresponsible behavior on our streets that has prompted Project Drive Safer, TMJ 4s commitment to cracking down on reckless driving. Julia Fellow now on what happened and some solutions on the table to make our roads safer. The 29 year old motorcyclist had the green light on Sunday, traveling southbound on Cesar Chavez Drive. At the same time, there was a vehicle that was traveling eastbound here on Forest Home and blew the red light, hitting the motorcyclist right in the middle of this intersection and just kept going. Two days later, you can still see remnants of this crash. This is something people in the community say they do not want to continue into the summer. While the motorcyclist is in critical condition, police are still searching for the driver responsible, worrying this mother of three. There's some people, like I said, they being so in a rush, they'll just speed cross past the red light and not knowing it, seeing if children outside. The owner of this gas station tells me their surveillance camera was blocked by a large vehicle when the hit and run happened. Jorge Ramirez, who works nearby, seemed unfazed by the news. It's like a known thing if you live around here, just take care. You know, we always tell ourselves like, oh, like be safe, you know, and for us, it's like that means I love you. I wish there was like a community, more of a community effort. We took those concerns to the mayor. I'm asking them to reach out to our traffic safety unit. Go on to uh, mpdtsu.org and punch in the location where you see reckless driving activity happening. The mayor says he's been efforting red light cameras to be installed at dangerous intersections to photograph and ticket the owner of any vehicle caught speeding or blowing a red light. I'm interested in utilizing cameras as a way to deter reckless driving behavior and to hold people accountable. A bill introduced in our state assembly would allow Milwaukee to launch a five year pilot program to test the effectiveness of up to 75 cameras in the city, but it still needs full approval from the legislature for this to happen. Anyone with information on this hit and run that again happened on Cesar Chavez and Forest Home at about 5 p.m. Sunday is asked to call Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen. That's 414-224-TIPS. Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News. Thank you, Julia. Going in depth now, city data shows more people have been hurt in crashes compared to this same time last year, and this ties the number of people seriously hurt from crashes in 2021.